Good morning, folks. It doesn't get much calmer than this. We have had zero eruptions, although I'm firmly eyeing a line of solar tornadoes creeping over the eastern limb now. They tower over the surface and are each much bigger than the Earth. Soho, Lasco shows just how calm we've been. No major eruptions in any direction. Not surprisingly, we had no significant solar flares. It's likely the sun got a lot of energy out during last week's bonanza. The lone sunspot of interest right now wasn't born the last time we spoke. It popped up midday yesterday and already has solid umbral cores. It is growing quickly and spreading and contains both positive blue and negative red. Beta class on day one. Looking in 211 angstroms, we see the dark north and south. Those are the coronal holes. North is positive, south is negative, but something interesting happened with the positive northern opening yesterday. The coronal field shaping the feature bowed out up north, vastly expanding the influence of that coronal hole. This took the outward-facing segment of the heliosphere from negative encroachment back to a wide-sweeping positive influence. Looking at three days of solar wind, we see those CME impacts and now the waning away of speed, plasma temperature, and density, albeit slowly. The magnetometer is showing decreasing pressure and energy on Earth. The proton flux is going back down to ambient levels. The magnetospheric instability is waning away as well, but the electron saw an opportunity to sweep in during the wake, up more than a hundred times the intake from two days ago. In what surely is just a coincidence, colliding air masses in the Gulf of California meet directly above and above average tremor there. Fairly unusual location. We're eyeing Tropical Storm Kate. Cyclone potential exists here, but it's heading away from population. You can see how low pressure nodes always suck in, but spin opposite directions when on opposite sides of the equator. Looking in the central Pacific, that is a gnarly looking system atop Hawaii. There are multiple mountaintops here that just got covered in snow. Coming to North America, a high pressure node off the west coast is aiding the convergence formation for a low in south central Canada, colliding air masses along that convergence line back towards the west. We also have the leading system to the east pulling up hard from warmer areas on its eastern edge. The cloud overlay showing the storm potential from these systems. Our top watch is for snow, and it will keep coming down along the northern portions of those systems. A more concentrated watch for Europe than in previous days. Two lows at work in Central and Eastern Europe. Those greedily hold on to the moisture and try to keep it to themselves, but for a bit of shear to the north. Down under, you can see that collision line still arching across northern Australia. It is indeed now enhanced though towards the southeast and down to Tasmania. There are no surprises on the purple watch zones there. Got a slightly different look at the current conditions and shots of our star to close at 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, 5.15 a.m. Central. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe everyone.